Indian High Court tells Twitter, remove Atheist Republic's tweets. Guys, this is fresh off the press, meaning this came out last night as I was about to go to sleep. I was like, oh, looks like I have some meetings to arrange with my legal team. <laughs> okay, let's get into what the news, what happened. Um, on Friday, October 29th, it was reported that the Delhi High Court instructed Twitter to take down tweets from the Atheist Republic account. The court, the court referred to the quote-unquote objectionable tweets depicting the Hindu goddess Ma Kali in a sensual pose. A senior advocate representing Twitter India, Sid Harth Luthra, said that they would remove the concerned posts once the court gave a, an official order. In July, the Delhi-based lawyer uh, Aditya Singh Deshwal had issued a complaint against uh, Atheist Republic and Twitter India for allowing the latter to show uh, to post blasphemous images of the Hindu goddess Kali. In his complaint, Deshwal claimed that the offensive tweets, quote, shook the collective conscience of the followers and practitioners of Hinduism. The Delhi High Court has scheduled another round of hearings for the complaint on November 30th. So, Many of you guys will remember, like I said, back in July, we reported about how another legal complaint has been issued against us. But what's interesting about it this time was one, it was the first time that I was named in one of these complaints. I was like, oh my God, I made it. <laughs> Usually it's just Armin. <laughs> Two. Okay. Well, um, you, you were mentioned in FIRs, but yeah, go ahead. Uh, this two this complaint actually was a complaint that was issued not only against armin and i as individuals but and also against twitter india itself as an entity but it also named senior officials at twitter as defendants in the case um so meaning that these officials at twitter are being held in their personal capacity their as a per private citizen liable for these actions um and more broadly, the content that we post to Twitter. So um, at this time, we don't actually know what specific tweet they're upset about. Um, that hasn't been revealed. I know. I know because it's keep it, since uh, yesterday, it keeps the tweet that they have a problem with. That's the one that keeps getting um, quote tweeted. So there's a campaign right now against that specific tweet. I think I think it's that tweet. Do, do you want me to show it? Yeah, pull it up. Okay. I think it's this tweet. And you know what the problem mm. with this tweet is? Is what? this? <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> if you look closely, you can see a little sexy you... <laughs> Kelly. <laughs> uh, yeah. So this is a link. Uh, this is the the pin tweet on Atheist Republic Twitter account, and recently has been getting a lot more quote tweets than usual. And this is the tweet that the high court in India is now making a legal case against because of this tiny little picture right on this shirt, which is like Kalima, sexy Kali, goddess Kali of the Hindu religion. Okay. This is what the is shaking the collective conscious of Hindus in India is this little tweet with a little bit like you have to like really zoom, like for your collective conscious to be shook, you really have to zoom in. Like you really have to pay attention, <laughs> okay? <laughs> okay? By the way, guys, go get this that shirt. That was the like best it's, it's, quote. Yeah. By the way, definitely go get our sexy Kali shirt. Man, I should have been wearing mine today. Shoot, what a yeah. lost opportunity. Um, what better compliment than <laughs> they're like, "This is shaking the collective consciousness of the practitioners Conscious. of Hinduism." I'm like, "Oh my god!" <laughs> like, by the way, it was calling not just. It was the, the the court was not just calling for removal of the tweet, but the entire Twitter account. Well, the it? initial plea that was submitted before the court, you're right. The initial plea did call for them to remove the content and to permanently suspend our account from Twitter. Um, so, right. so far, the court has said you only need that we want you to remove these specific tweets. Um, Guys, go 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 get a sexy Cali shirt and then take a picture of yourself with the sexy Cali shirt. Again, it's the top. It's the the link to our shirts is actually in the description as well. Okay, and then tweet that so there's more of those tweets. Okay. Um, also, 
guys, Susanna is like working so hard behind the scenes to to talk to our legal team against for all about all of this, right? And they are really good. So you guys need to go support our legal fund. Okay, this is um, our fundraiser that Susanna was. I didn't think it would work, but but Susanna was like, we need to do it. And like, okay, let's do it. And you guys got us to like our goal was fifteen hundred dollars, and we're already at. 1343 so like we're only um yeah 157 short uh, of having the fundraiser complete so guys thank you so much for getting us there link in the description if you want to continue supporting us to defend ourselves against all these legal actions yeah so this is a prime example uh coming conveniently at the time we're running this fundraiser of exactly yeah. why this fundraiser is needed so um based off of this news we are going to have some more uh legal fees so we're going to need to expand our fundraiser soon um please consider oh music guy put the link in the chat thank you music guy um please consider look, donating look how great this shirt look will look I know look it, how amazing the shirt would look yeah um Go please on. consider donating it would really help us out a lot um, if atheist has, if, if, if atheist Republic has helped you in your life, um, maybe you've gotten a lot of enjoyment out of our content. Maybe you felt less alone because of the community that we provide. Um, now's an opportunity and a moment where atheist Republic needs your help back. Um, so please consider donating. Um, we haven't had, a, had another donation in a few days now. So consider helping yeah. us break our dry spell. Um, whatever you can chip in even if it's like one dollar five $1. bucks like it does yeah. help a lot and um share share our fundraiser as well oh um, yeah a lot of people a lot of people say that they can't support our fundraiser uh you know they don't have money and stuff don't guys do not support our fundraiser if you're struggling please don't but what you could do is share okay it doesn't cost you anything to share our fundraiser and we're almost there like we're right there so please help us get there thank you and like this video also that helps as well yeah and this isn't over there is yes. going to be a hearing another hearing on this matter on um the at the end of november so yeah mm. you'll be hearing from us again mm. about this because um the benefit that we have is that we, we don't live in india we're not under indian jurisdiction and so the, the stakes and the consequences to me and Armin are greatly lessened. But this is something that we feel that it's important to fight for because the point of all of this judicial harassment, all of this attempt to censor us and to um, remove us from any Indian's consumption is um, has the net effect of it being, a, it has a chilling effect on Indian society where people see that this happens and they think, well, I don't want this to happen to me. So I'm going to stay quiet. And we have the opportunity to talk about this issue and to raise awareness about why um, this issue is so important in India and also how what Indian secularists are dealing with is so much harsher than the personal consequences that me and Armin face. And because we have that uh, privilege, you know, we want to take um, advantage of this opportunity to uh, get some eyes on this issue. There are a lot of people in India who want real freedom of, of expression. No matter how many people harass us, threaten us, um, try to dox us, saying that we hurt their sentiments. Um, that's not reflective of all of Indian society. And there are millions of people who want to feel like they can express themselves freely and safely without um, a legal or physical consequence. Um, so it's an important issue. And uh, we people try to paint us as being obnoxious and just insulting to Indian culture broadly. And that's not the case. Um, mm. There's been a long tradition of uh, intellectuals and visionaries in India who speak out against such reverence and um, the uh, idolatry and putting things on a pedestal and um, anti-blasphemy attitude. This, this is in Indian tradition, <laughs> you know? Um, 
it's, I don't know, something I'm very passionate about. So, uh, I, yeah. I wanted to thank our legal team. They're amazing. And Susanna is like working so hard and talking to them and, you know, coming up with the best strategies. And they're so, so helpful. And, and they also want to make sure that we come up with the most the thing that you know because we don't have an we we don't have we like, this is the bgp the biggest political party in the world and we have fifteen hundred dollars <laughs> right so to make <laughs> so uh to be able to make that work like our lawyers have been very very helpful to make sure that they make that we get the biggest return for the small little investment that we have um and also there's a whole bunch of there's a lot of people from india that are just giving us advice for free and giving us their knowledge and are talking to Suze about there's guys there's so much happening in the background that we can talk about our lawyers have told us not to talk. maybe one day we could like maybe at some point we could talk about some of it but there's so much happening in the background and there are so many other people that are like from India that care about some of them Hindu okay they care about us and they're trying to give us advice on what to, how to move forward with this. And I just want to appreciate all the people. It's just very heartwarming to see um, how much people care about us succeeding in this. So thank you for that. Yeah, yeah it really does mean oh. the world to us and to so many other people who, you know, don't show themselves publicly. Um, yeah. Manas is saying, thank you so much for doing this. Well, thank you. And yeah. Ghost Bunny said that she donated. Thank you so much for donating, Ghost Bunny. And uh, one last thing I want to say, mm -hmm. you go on, you, you say it before I say it. Well, it's funny that you have your little white dog Poochie in your lap, because I feel like the dog that you should have with you is your dog Kali, given that we're talking oh, about all this objectionable she... content about Kali Ma. Mm. Yeah. Where, where's I, Kali? <laughs> <laughs> she's upstairs. I don't know where she is. But okay, I want to say one last thing, okay? we me and susanna we are very passionate about this okay because we love india okay and we think it's worth fighting for her and defending her okay we india is the world's largest secular democracy and if i know we're not you know i, I you know that people say like this is not your fight you're not in india but i think because we're not india and because we're not in india we could do this with more with less cost to us so i think when it comes to fighting for secular values and democratic values and fighting against bigotry and religious domination i think india is a major battleground and this is because of everything that has happened to us and what we've experienced we have decided to make this our mission to be part of that fight part like a small part of the fight for when it comes to you know fighting for free speech and against re religious domination, we we want to be involved in it, right? You know, so and there are you know there are many other people that are doing this, um, and we just want to you know just side just stand side by side with them. So this is like a this is not you know a lot of people may think that they just came and they did this to us and it's over. Well, for them yes, but for me and Sue's this is like this is going to turn into this has turned into like a multi-decade project that we we have like just started in learning about like this is not what we're doing right now it's not just going to be it like this is this is our life passion now to to fight against you know the forces that are limiting you know people's prosperity people's happiness people's freedoms you know, this is one of the world's most large, largest populated countries, and the fact that it's had so much, there was, it has so much potential, and it has so much potential, and I think it's making making this your battleground is really worth the effort. Effort, and we not only we not only do we want to be involved, we are inviting other people that are bigger than us to also get involved. Like we're like we have like friends and content creators that have much bigger platforms on YouTube than we do. And we want to inspire even inspire them to get involved as well. So yeah. Anyways. Okay, guys. I mean, how how can how can we give up this fight? Kali has goddess Kalima has <laughs> changed our life. I mean, yes. you now have Kalima in your home. You're gonna have a little Kali yes. running around for years. <laughs> 
She's not so literal anymore, but yeah. Yeah. Oh yeah. Love India. Jai Hind. Yeah, actually, I like that more than Jai Jai Sri Ram. Yeah. Okay, cool. Atheist Republic needs your help. We have been the target of many legal attacks by Hindu nationalists ever since our founder, Armin Avabi, blasphemed against Hindu deities. We have retained legal counsel to help us defend our access to our community in India. We have started a fundraiser that will help us afford to tackle many legal issues, including judicial harassment and censorship. Whatever you can contribute will go a long ways in helping us in this fight. Link in the description below.